Hello and welcome to this overview of the changes in SPC Connect 2.6. We've made a number of changes in SPC Connect in order to bridge the gap between security companies and customers. And we aim in this release to offer more services to installers to allow them to communicate and even control the services they're offering to their customers. Within 2.6, there is a range of enhancements we'll be looking at. Some of these are targeted at security companies and installers. These include customer notifications, future management, replace system, and for the system user, we have enhancements for push notification and verification. So first, we're gonna talk about the push notification enhancements. We have expanded the filter options available in push notifications in order to allow for fault, fault restores, and system information. This is a main request for mains monitoring and tech zone monitoring, so that should any tech zones be activated, they will now be pushed directly to the user's device if they enable this option. No update to the mobile app is required for this functionality, and this will be enabled through the SPC Connect server. The next enhancement we have within SPC Connect is an enhancement to the verification functionality available in SPC Connect. We will, in 2.6, allow the option for panels within a company to view verification directly on the user's device. Now, this interplays with two functions, restrictions, which we will talk about in a moment. But when verification is enabled, it will allow the user to view and to review the verification data from their site. So just kind of a quick demo of that functionality now. Within the SPC Connect app, when a push activates or an alarm activates, we will now be able to receive the verification information in the push, allowing the user to know immediately that verification is available. Selecting the site, the user will be able to now see that verification data is available on that site and that they can view this information. Selecting the alarm icons will now show additional information that was not previously available. The user can view the data and this will load the pre and post audio images into the user's app. If you've configured the profiles, users will also be able to view the live data available and be able to export this data from the mobile app to save it on their device or to share it with via email or to save it to their device. We are very excited about this functionality. We believe it will greatly advance the system and also help reduce false alarms in the system. The next feature I'd like to discuss is customer notifications. Now, this is a very exciting piece of functionality for us. And it's something we've always targeted doing within SPC Connect, and it will greatly, we hope, enhance your business. It will allow you to directly communicate with your customers using the SPC Connect platform, allowing you to define messages for groups of customers in their languages. It will allow you to create callbacks to your own site in order to create leads for your business. And we will have stats and performance review within SPC Connect. And we believe this will greatly enhance your ability to communicate with your customers through an interface that they're using regularly. And we're just going to show a brief demo of how this interaction works. Within the app, you will see a new icon appear once the app is released. And this will show that a message is available. Clicking on the icon, you can see a message and this is defined by you in terms of your title, your message and your content, including the call to action button which can of course be defined to come back to your site. When in SPC Connect, you will be able to view the customers who have selected this icon and download the information to Excel for further follow-up. Now, this is a very exciting evolution within SPC Connect and it is all about bridging that gap between customers, allowing you to enhance your experience. You can also add images or your own custom branding within the app now allowing you to put your own touch on these messages and to show your customer that this message is from you. 
within SPC Connect, we obviously want to allow you to have as much control as possible over the services you are offering. And this is why we've developed this feature called User Restrictions. And what will allow you to do is to define the service offering you are allowing your customers to have. It'll allow you to define the features available and allow you to block functionality to your customers. You can block access to the mobile app completely or block AV on the app and block push or email notifications also. It is important to remember that if your panel is part of a company, when verification becomes active, it will be available to your customers. If you wish to block this, you must select the block AV on mobile app. When you do this, the users will not be able to see any verification on their mobile app. When you block the notifications on the mobile app, a message will appear if the user tries to enable them. This will signal to the customer that they have been blocked centrally. Similarly, if you block access to a particular panel, a message will be displayed beside the panel name saying blocked and if the user selects it, it will signal that this has been blocked by their operator. In summary, we're very excited about the new functionality we're going to be offering in SPC Connect 2.6 along with the update to the SPC Connect mobile app. And we hope we have achieved our goal of continuing to bridge the gap between you and your customers. And we will continue to endeavor to improve the SPC Connect service to enhance the services and functionality you will be able to offer to your customers. Thank you and goodbye.